Hi, in this video we're going to go through how to get gold in the prep mission for the loud method of the first heist in Grand Theft Auto 5 by grabbing the police issue carbine rifles. We will be um, commandeering an ominous looking SUV. Hi and welcome back, my name's Dan and I'm an old grumpy gamer. Grand Theft Auto is a truly massive game. Between GTA 5 and the constant updates from Rockstar for GTA Online, there's no shortage of new content and interesting things to do. Join me then in our continuing series, Getting Gold in Every Damn Mission in GTA 5, as we look at carbine rifles. And don't forget to hang around to the end so you can catch our bonus tips for evading the cops. Before we dive in, if you're new to the channel, we do how-to guides, news, and giveaways. So consider subscribing and ringing the bell to stay up to date. Getting gold in this one sounds simple enough, all we have to do is lose our wanted level in 2 minutes or less. This can be a mix of skill and luck, and you may need to give the mission a go a couple of times to get it right. The mission is mercifully short on replay though. Which is where we'll pick up the action. Okay, so you can see we have the SUV in front of us, we're just in Michael's normal car. Take a couple of pots at the, uh, the police to get them to stop jump out and then immediately grab something automatic -y and drop into Michael's ability. From there, it's just a case of taking out the police, which is a fairly easy task. There's only a few of them there. Jump in the SUV and head off. Now keep a close eye on the radar so you can see the police line of sight and if you accidentally get in it then of course the wanted level spikes again. What we're looking for is cover. We need to find somewhere out of the way that the police won't find us. And you can see the police choppers join the chase, so we definitely need to get undercover now. With the three-star warranted level, it um, can be a little bit full-on if you're new to the game. Alright, so we're still clear. Police chopper hasn't tracked us down yet, but I can see I'm just about to come into a line of sight there, so we'll just sneak off to the left. And keeping an eye on that little line of sight on the uh, for the police, we're nearly there. Off to the right, just to keep out of their line of sight, and that is it. Job's done. And we just need to head back to the garment factory. Before we get to the way our bonus tips, I'd like to say a massive thank you to our Patreon backers, whose contribution allows us to keep making these videos. Patreon backers get access to most videos early, are automatically entered into the exclusive Patreon-only shark card draws, receive priority responses to questions, and are invited to join any of the old grumpy gamers whenever we're online playing. Details on how to become a backer are in the description below. While you're there, don't forget to enter our semi-regular milestone shark card giveaways, follow us on your favourite social media platform, and visit our website for all the latest in old grumpy gamer goodness. So thanks for watching to the end, here are my top tips for evading the cops when you've got a higher wanted level. Keep a close eye on the radar to see the police line of sight. Parking structures and empty lots can be great hiding places, and sometimes sheer speed is your only friend. So what are your thoughts? Do you have any tips for other viewers or could this have been done differently? Leave your comment down below. Check out the video on the left for the smart prep missions or the one on the right for the heist itself. Stay safe, wash your hands and we'll see you in the next video.